Hello and welcome. This is Saad Usman. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a very important concept in DAX, which you should understand if you want to master DAX. And that concept is about the filter and row context. First of all, we need to understand that any DAX expression is evaluated inside a context. The context is really the environment under which a formula is evaluated. Let's first discuss the filter context. I have created a measure uh, which gives me the sum of uh, sales values from the table data. And if I put this on a visual, in the form of a matrix, this number alone does not look very interesting to me. But if you think really carefully, the formula computes exactly what it is supposed to compute. That is the sum of all sales amount which is obviously a big number. This uh, visual becomes more interesting if we put some fields inside the columns or the rows and start to slice and dice the data. Let's uh, put some fields over here. If I drag the product field in the rows area and increase the font size, as soon as we put the product field on the rows uh, section of this matrix, this visual, it starts to give us some interesting information. Now, we can see that the total value remains the same, that is 11.6 billion. But now we have three individual information, three individual sales values, uh, which, are, uh, which are a subset of the total value of 11.6. Uh, on a deeper level, if we see, the formula is not calculating what we asked it to calculate. That is, we asked it to perform a sum of all the sales values. But if you look at the first uh, value of uh, 3868, this value is not the sum of all the sales values in the data. This is the sales value for the product glue guns only. But when did we specify that we want to have this uh, sales value for glue guns only? We never specified that computation had to work on a subset of the data. You can see that the different values are being calculated for different cells because the valuation context under which DAX computes, the formula is different. For glue guns, the value of 3868 for lightsabers, for transponders, the values are different because the evaluation context is different for each of the values. Since the product is uh, shown on the rows, for every value in the visual, filters are applied on that data set and shorten the database. When the database is shortened, then the, the expression is applied on the shortened database to get this value. Let me show you this uh, with the help of an Excel database. I have the same database here in Excel that uh, I can use to reflect the values, show the values that we have just calculated. I have the same database here in Excel, which has been used to create the Power BI report. So if we apply the filters again on this database, we can get the same result such as the total sales value you can see is 11.6, which is exactly the same as the value on the Power BI. And for the glue guns, if we filter the products in the product column, 3868 is the same value which we got on our Power BI report. If you have worked with pivot tables, it is exactly what we expect Excel to do. DEX formula specifies the calculation, but the DEX evaluates the calculation in a context, which defines the final value which is computed. The formula is always the same, but the value is different because the DAX evaluates it against different subsets of data. For the first value, the subset of the data is only glue guns. For the second value, the subset changes to lightsabers. For example, if we change this subset to from glue guns to lightsabers, and the formula will result in a different value, 3876, which is exactly what we got here in Power BI report. The only case the only case where the formula behaves exactly where uh, what we asked it to do is the, the totals value. Because in the totals value, there are no filters applied. It is exactly computing the sum of sales values of all the products in the data. Now, if you want to add fields in the columns area as well, let's see what happens. I'm going to add regions in the columns and there we have regions east north south and west on the columns area now we have got various numbers uh, each different for each of the rows and the columns and these numbers are different whereas the formulas applies apply to calculate the each cell is the same 
the result is different because the subset on which the formula is being applied is different. For example, in the first case, we are looking at the product glue gun sales in the East region only. Let's go back to our Excel. In this case, if I filter product to glue guns and region to East, I will get the value sales value of 961 million which is exactly the same what we have in our Power BI report. It is important to note that for value computation, it does not matter if you put a field in the row, column, or slicer in case of a visual, because all these contribute to provide a single context, which is then used to evaluate the DEX formula. It is only aesthetics that you put something in the rows or in the columns, or you put something in the slices. Let's, let's add a slice over here. I will add a customer type in the slicer and I will give it a slicer and now if I select a customer type let's say galaxy my value changes in this visual and now the although the galaxy is not here in this visual but the slicer is applicable on this visual and it is filtering the data set so we have a different value of uh, glue guns in the east region which is 333 million let's verify this So if I take the customer type galaxy, the sales value is appearing as 333 million, which is the same as the Power BI. We call this context the filter context. And as its name suggests, it is a context that filters the tables. On a final note, the filter context can be created through rows, columns, or slices in a visual. These can also be created or modified programmatically using the calculate function, which I'm going to discuss in a subsequent video. After explaining the filter context, the formula can now be read as the sum of the sales value visible in the current filter context. So the current filter context for glue guns is the East, glue guns as the product, East as the region, and Galaxy as the customer type. In this filter context, the value of 333 million is the sum of the sales values, which is uh, being calculated here. Now let's move on to the row context. To explain the row context, I will go to the data view. In my data view, let's consider an, a different formula here. I'm going to add a new column. I will call it gross margin. You are likely to write such expressions in case of a calculate column that that's what I'm going to do right now to compute the gross margin. If I press enter, I get the gross margin for each of the rows. The DEX computes the formula for all the rows of the table and for each row, uh, it is getting a different result as expected. It is important to understand that we ask DEX to subtract one column from the other column which means we wanted uh, to subtract cost from the sales column to get the gross margin. But where in this formula have we ever specified from which row to perform this calculation upon? So it is true that because of it is a calculated column, the DEX computes it row by row. And for each row, it evaluates a different result as you can, as you can see over here. But again, we still did not provide a row on which to work out the DEX expression. Since we have not provided a row number to the DAX, in fact, the row number is not stored inside the formula. It is defined by another kind of context, which is called the row context. When we defined this expression, uh, Power BI created a row context starting from the first row, and then it evaluated an expression. When we expressed, when we asked the DAX to subtract cost from the sales, it automatically assumed that we are talking about the row context and it subtracted 74,549 from 165,664 to get the value of 91,115. So this, after calculating this row, it moved to the second row and started calculating uh, the same expression all over for each of the rows one by one. This happens for all the rows till the table, uh, uh, till the end of the table. And even if you have uh, got a million rows in the table, the DAX will perform logically a million calculations. To put it simply, a row context is a context that always contains a single row, and index automatically defines it during the creation of calculated columns. Now let's discuss some applications of filter and row context. 
uh, consider the formula for gross margin that we use in uh, the calculated column earlier uh, the data sales minus the uh, cost column it automatically considers the row context and computes value for each of the rows one by one let's see what happens when we use the same formula as a measure for doing this let's first copy the formula from here I will create a new measure. Let's call it gross margin measure and paste the formula as it is. When we press enter, it gives us an error. Uh, now let's see why it's giving us an error. When we click on the error message, it says a single value for column sales in the table data cannot be determined. This can happen when a measure formula refers to a column that contains many values without specifying an aggregation such as min, max, etc, etc to get a single result. What happens is, in this case, the formula as a measure does not have a row context here. And since an active row context is missing, the formula fails to return an answer. Because this formula wants to calculate uh, the gross margin row by row, but we are not specifying any row here and the row context is altogether missing. If however we use an aggregator function like sum or main or max etc it will give us a result because some formula does not need a row context so let's put a sum formula wrap it up with some formula and see what happens so when we press enter it gives us a result Let's put the result in this uh, visual and let me remove uh, the regions here and let's put the gross margin. So now we have a gross margin of 2 billion which is uh, accurately showing in, in each of the different product lines. Let's change the customer type and see what happens. It automatically changes and we have different gross margins for each of the customer types and uh, products. Let's consider another example now. We had calculated the sum of sales value as a measure earlier in this video. Uh, let me show you. The measure is here and it just calculates the sum of uh, the column sales from the table data. Let's try to add that measure in a calculated column. What I'm going to do, I'll go to this table and I will add a new column. I will call it sales measure just to differentiate and I will calculate it as a sum of the sales column. What we want here uh, in the measure we had seen that it gives us a single value in the column let's see what it does. In this case it returns the same value for all the rows and the value is the sum of the sales column of the entire table. As explained before in this video, the formula sum does not need a row context, therefore it only looks at the filter context. Since in this case we are applying the formula on the table directly, there is no filter applied. Since there are no filters applied, the formula goes through the entire table and returns the same value over and over because of the absence of row context. It is very important to understand the difference between row context and filter context to master DAX uh, to, uh, to get yourself ahead in the DEX world. I will cover more DEX formulas in subsequent videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.